Wulong tea, also known as blue green or semi oxidized tea, occupies a unique position between green and red teas. Similar to red teas, the initial stage involves withering, followed by rolling and oxidation, with alternating cycles until it's achieved the desired degree of semi oxidation. This process happens in the controlled environment, devoid of light, at warm temperature. The semi oxidation process categorizes Wulong tea into four distinct families based on their oxidation level 5 to 15%, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and 60 to 70%. Subsequently, many Wulong teas undergo roasting to enhance their toasted flavor profile. The finest Wulong teas hail from the provinces of Fujian, Guangdong and Taiwan, where specialized techniques have been brought to perfection over generations. One noteworthy variant is Milky Wulong tea, also known as Jin Chuan, named after the cultivar TTES-12. Developed in 1980 by the Tea Research and Extension Station in Taiwan, this tea stands out for its unique production process. Characterized by pickled leaves and semi-oxidized process, the leaves undergo steaming over milk, imparting a distinctive creamy flavor profile. Wulong literally translates back to Black Dragon. Legend has it that one day, a tea farmer was walking in his garden in Fujian looking for some new flavor. Immersed in his thoughts, he saw a black snake emerging from the depth of a tea tree. Believing it to be a sign, he sampled the leaves and thus birthed the first wulong. While this tale may be steeped in legend, French tattoo artist Brandy and I were not going to pass on such occasion to bring the red dragon spirit back into the brewery and embrace its myth and culture.